don't you wear some colors? It bring out your eyes. Why don't you try some earth tones? Since you claim you wanna die. I can't even pick if I have to pick. In today's video, we will be touching on colors in hopes of understanding how colors can influence its styling process and its overall effect. If you all follow me on Instagram, you all know that I mostly wear black. If it's not black, then forget about it. So my question is, can adding colors to your wardrobe and fits a good idea or sticking to black is the penultimate route to one's personal style satisfaction? Is it a letdown when you consider yourself a fan of avant-garde and somehow you still love yellow and bright pops of pink. Perhaps in some way we can unravel together by the end of this video that colors does in fact bring joy or give value to one's life or maybe not. So I really need your help on this one. Are we going to be team colors or team black, light or dark? So before we dive in, I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. In 2010, this is Rick's collection feed. With the exception of tan belt and mustard belt amongst the bottomless pit of grays and blacks you could imagine. Now, fast forward to 2023, there seems to be a Crayola commitment, a louder use of color, and there's a strong departure from the bashful days. For me, the best Rick Owens colored collection would be the glitter and the Macedon era. With each passing collection, he expands you know, the universe by tying it all together in a single grounding aesthetic. And through this expansion of the universe, his pieces exist and make sense. As they open the mind to other possibilities, other worlds, this are the mini shroud jacket. The ridiculous pointlessness of these being so wide and heavy and grotesque is enough to enjoy them. They're super, super special. No other designer has done this. The green colorway is much more everyday and because it's green it's friendly to the eyes whereas the black version is more edgy yeah the art that i'm getting from this piece is nefarious and villain like almost cosplay-ish so i'm excited to style it show it to you guys let you be the judge whether the green one is better than the black one, are we all gonna be convinced that the black one is still gonna be the number one colorway in the fashion playbook? So this is the cream mini shroud jacket from the glitter collection. This hard shell of a jacket is a great juxtaposition to soft dresses, soft language dresses, so that's what I did. And for the shoes, I'm wearing the same colorway as the jacket, and yeah, with colors, I tend to, to stick to monochromes because yeah, I may be wearing colors, but I don't want to be so explosive and too unhinged when it comes to colors. I still want to keep it like a solid, cohesive entity, if you know what I mean. And yeah, even if it's a menacing jacket, even if it looks alien-like and weird and grotesque, the fact that it is a green colorway it looks approachable. What do you think? This is my version of the black mini shroud jacket, faithful to the runway look. The finishing of the leather is insane. It has this glossy hammered leather. This is the type of shit that I like. The good thing about wearing all black is probably the ease of layering. Black is black. It's the easiest way to connect the dots. It's the easiest way to marry different pieces. Like this one, it's an amalgamation of different fabrics. It's so hard to pick. If I had to choose, to be honest, I would gladly choose the black one, of course. In other words, there are looks that are exceptionally fabulous in colors, yes. And likewise, there are pieces that only make sense when it's all black. And the next one is another outerwear. These jackets are called the Chester jacket. These pieces will make you look polished in seconds. I kid you not. Being a Gemini, there's always an inner struggle within me. There are times that I want to be dark and all black, and there are times that I want to play with dimensions. And for you to play with dimensions, you have to think about colors and textures. The color is dark dust 
which is a greenish color geared towards gray. It's very cool toned. It's very dead. The black one, it has this mystique feel. It has this Dracula-ish kind of energy. Let's see which color brings out more energy. This has got to be my favorite color. Like, look at this. I also love wearing colors in the monochrome way. Just because, look at this, it explains it all. Look how the dark dust Although with inconsistencies of undertones, it creates a very, very beautiful chroma. I just love how the different dark dust interacts with one another. You really can't pinpoint what it is. Like, is it a gray? Is it a brown? Is it, is it green? When I started doing dark style, the main color I get to embrace is dark dust. The colors that I choose for my wardrobe would be a minuscule portion of earth tones. These colors are the type of colors that you can naturally see in the natural world. So this is the black Chester jacket. Let's start with the boots. I've worn a long uh, thigh high long boots and I'm wearing like a tunic dress. Also what I realized with this styling is from the hanger, the black one is very there's nothing special about it at first glance, but once you try it on, I think the black one really does give you a better fitting, a better appeal, a better look, a better completion. In ancient times, fabrics were dyed black with gull knots. This type of dyeing was very expensive and elaborate. So back in the days when one wears black, it delivers a subliminal message among everyone that you're rich and everyone is not. And also black were worn by widowers. These black clad widowers created an emblem of pride, an untouchable force field that they were once married in love and that they are mourning from a great loss and the others don't have that sense of experience. What do we have here? Oh, these are the Rick Owens classic biker jacket and I have two colorway. The battle between light and dark. Light in the form of this pearl gray colorway. And this one, I believe it's dark dust. And to be honest, there are certain type of garments that really look good in dark dust. Not in black, not in colors, but just dark dust alone. It's a special color. The gray one is also special. It looks immaculate, it's so pure and virgin-like. There's something robotic and futuristic dystopian about this, whereas this one is more primitive and nomadic and bohemian. This is the Dark Dust, the classic biker jacket. I pair this with the same colorway for the boots, which is the stag boots. They look amazing. You have to agree. This is my favorite color apart from black. The pearl gray classic biker jacket paired with something metallic. I feel like a character from Marvel. With regards to the biker jacket, I prefer the darker one. I feel seen with this type of collar. There's a skill with wearing light pieces. Me being a black wearer for so, so long, things that are light in color is shocking to me. But this one is just in the middle ground. It's not too dark, not too light. I don't know why I have this habit of buying the same piece in different colors. I mean, they're different. The pearl gray is more softer and you can really see the details. It's more of a suede-ish kind of velvet. If you follow me on Instagram, judging from my fits, I, have, I think I've worn this more just because it's so easy. So guys, this is the gray sphinx tunic dress top. Oh, by the way, the shoes that I've worn is the the walrus boots. I was going for the recent strobe collection when I was thinking about this outfit. It's actually giving me soft, murky, dusty. Like if I wear this color, it brings me into that zen place. So now we're in the sitting room. Maybe slightly futuristic for my liking, but together, it's just an amalgamation of different shades of gray. Like legit, this is like 50 shades of gray. Let's focus on the, the tunic dress first. You can really see the details. Like I'd go closer and you'll see this um, beautiful intricate stitching. So for this one, I definitely pick the black version, I guess. Like look how seamless and how strong it looks like. The other one was not too bad, but I feel like it's more, it's very soft and I'm not a soft person. As an outfit, I would choose the black one, 
but as a piece to admire and to like appreciate the gray version has more value has more special factor unique factor to it these two may look different but they're the same few things that are different obviously the length and fabric from hindsight you could tell that this is better and the color is not too bad either the color is dust it's just a gray a cool gray with a purplish tinge but you know what I, I gravitate towards this more and I love the velvet it's just so stark and dark I wear skirts more than pants now because it's just more freeing it's more liberating and it's more more edgy pants I've been wearing pants since I was a young kid now it's the time to be free very interesting to see that guys are embracing more pieces to incorporate in their wardrobe I wouldn't say that they're borrowing it from women because Skirts are not for women. No, it's for everyone. Let's not try to label these clothes with gender because they don't have a gender to begin with. So this is the Nasca skirt in the dust gray colorway. I think with grays, there's so many options to build a colorful outfit. Gray is a good canvas. I used the gray skirt as the base, the foundation of the outfit. So the top, is my leather zip biker from the 2009 collection i paired the the collar of the top with my boots that's a boots jacket very consistent and cohesive solid look it's so unfair like whenever i talk about black clothes it's like yeah this is black bye but with colors there's just so many layers and so many dimensions that i wanted to talk about hi there this is the skirt and I think I must have gone overboard and overexcited. Well, why not? When I wear black skirts, I think it makes me look villainous. It makes me look mysterious and um, very dark. So again, the black skirt is just the foundation of the outfit. It's my outfit builder for this look. And I have the Fogachine prong shirt. And of course, my my favorite, favorite, favorite anthem jacket from the runway. And the saturation of the black in this fabric is higher and more sharper so i don't know practicality i think i'd go for the black what i'm getting from this video from this episode is that black is easy black is convenient but if you have the time in the world to conceptualize and to curate an outfit then go for colors there's actually a very high satisfaction in doing that and it's not easy i am comfortable being in black one core tenet of people who enjoy avant-garde is their reluctance to deviate from the safety of dark wardrobe i think it takes a certain level of courage and bravery to wear a sharp yellow outfit on a bright sunny day to me i think it's i just think it's the purest essence of human expression the most powerful voice that you can use is just is black. Black is black. Another favorite of mine, these are the mermaid skirts. It makes you look statuesque, it makes you look taller, it completes your outfit. I could not stop wearing this. Now this one, this is one of my newest acquisitions. And guess the color. It's called throat. A morbid colorway. It does look like a throat, more of a sore throat. There are only certain colors in the Rick universe that I can absorb and embrace and I think this throat colorway is one of them. I hate it when colors seem to be plasticky and too contrived. I love it the most when brands and designers use colors more of an abstract imagery. It is when the pieces stand out better because of the brilliant color mixing. I was very hesitant to get this skirt because it's more of like a red color and I don't do reds anymore. I wish I do, but for me, red is a very, very violent color. It just doesn't suit my personality. It's a lie because I have another red-brown boots here and I think together they make a good pairing. And I think throat is such an easy color to match with beige, grays, whites even. You can see how the depths are built and how each color speak to one another in a harmonious way. My outfits are quite simple. It's pretty mid. It's not the greatest, but with colors, it makes it more interesting. So this is how I style the black mermaid skirt. Again, I think the black is more edgy and 
feeling like. I think that's just how the black makes you feel like. You look like an evil character from a film because of how how black is portrayed in pop culture and films. Comparing this to the throat skirt, this is like miles away in terms of color, depth, and look. Like you could really tell that this is, this gives a very statuesque and columnar feel to it. So if, if I'm gonna choose, of course, I'm still gonna choose the dark dust skirt because I've worn this a million times. Everyone who wears black needs to understand that for himself, how it makes them feel. According to avant-garde designer Barbara Gondini, Keeping only a single tone gives the opportunity to work on clothing like canvas. With black pieces, the crevices, the pleats, drapes, and silhouette is sharper. Right, so these are another category on my closet. Can you see it? So this is the lightweight knife coat, I guess. See how foamy and light it is? The color is milk. And this is the dark counterpart of this lightweight blazer. They have the same fabric, they have the same sleeves, they have the same structure and concept. If I have to choose, I have to choose this, of course. Proportion play-wise, this is a winner. This is more streamlined, this is more commercial. I'm still gonna give this one a chance because it creates a different persona if you wear something light. It also makes you feel light. Color can be a tool to um, reframe your perspective, especially if you love fashion, if you love dressing up. This is a light jacket and the milky colorway. It works quite well. In general, it creates a fresh look and something different, something out of my comfort zone, but it definitely works. But yeah, what do you think? Do you like how the yellows, the white, the creams play? The fit is not too bad. I, I like the silhouette. I like how it makes me look taller. Yo, this is the lightweight jacket, lightweight coat in the black version. I'm wearing Rick Owen's wide leg pants. I recently watched the Rick Owen show and there's a lot of like high waist pants. Oh my goodness. And I guess I was inspired to wear high waist pants today. Wearing Rick Owen's and wearing avant-garde clothes is a commitment. I must say that I've been wearing this quite a lot during the hot weather. Well, between the black and the white, I guess I go for the black one because I just love the drama. Another case of same, same, but different. This is the Mastodon ellipse dress in a really nice earth tone brownish colorway. And this one here beside me is a longer version of the ellipse dress. Longer doesn't mean it's better. This one may be short, but on my body it's just perfect and oftentimes people strangers even compliments my outfit whenever i wear this because again color it catches the eye it sparks attention when people see black they look at you and they don't you know they don't study it like for them it's a shadow a silhouette colors are are still a winner in terms of attracting attention so if you want attention then Go for colors. The avant-garde signature look is well established. But I guess when they're drenched in color, these conventional styles become fresher. Is avant-garde fashion exclusive to black clothing and vice versa? According to Archive Store in Japan, Rei Kawakubo positioned red as a second black. In 2023, for Rick's Ed Fu collection, he mentioned that he used shocking colors like pinks and neon yellow since these colors are strong colors that can equal black. I think with colors as well, colors are super super popular among the general crowd because colors signify youth. Hence, makeups have all the colors we can imagine because colors are wired in leading us that colors will make us younger. So I think more color is equal to life and energy and black and gray equates to its absence. This is my favorite dress of all time. You know this dress. This is the Gargantuan, one. Super massive, super drapey, dramatic. Um, I love it because one, it's a really nice, rich, earthy brown. I have this transformative experience whenever I wear this. For the outfit, I paired this with my Dark Dust Rick Owens Lily's waterfall jacket together with the hyper volume dress that I have. It's super exaggerated, it's super grotesque, super 
noticeable and sculptural and those are the ingredients of the perfect outfit for me. And since we're on the topic of exaggeration, my boots for this outfit is the turbo wedge boots and the really nice beige. It's not about loving colors, it's about the effect that the color brings you. Well, 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 to get dressed with this outfit, it only took me like one minute. Jacket, dress, shoes, bam. Together with a heavy outdoor wear as well, this is from our clothing line Nutrilab. And yeah, from the get-go, you can tell that the black is stronger, sharper. From afar, you can see miles and miles away that there's this large entity, a big ball of fabric. It, the dress is the accessory on its own. You don't have to like put on some jewelry or stuff. I mean, you could, but for me, this it speaks for itself. 100% the black is amazing, however, the brown one has more story, has more depth to it, it attracts the eyes, so... Sorry black, but I, I, I think I choose the brown one. You thought it was over? We're not done yet. So now we're gonna be talking about the shoes, which is my favorite. If I know that I really like a certain style, then I try to get a different colorway just to, to spice things up. You know me, I love the classic biker wedge boots from Rick Owens. I've been obsessed with this since 2009. Can I just say that I have the, the sweetest followers on Instagram. A lot of people are saying that this style reminds them of me. So this is the beige classic biker wedge boots from Rick Owens. I think the color is called champagne. It's a yellow based neutral. It's one of my staple boots in my closet. The boot itself is a simplistic wedge. It's more of an everyday, and this is an everyday look for me. I'm back again with Vengeance, and now I'm wearing the black classic biker wedge boots. With black, I'm always in my element. It took me like seconds to cop this look. 80% of my wardrobe comprised of biker elements. This is like my second skin, so to speak. Another OG from Rick Owens, these are the crust boots from 2009. As you can see, this is the lighter version. It's the pearl gray colorway, and this is the black version. The black one has that dark, drapey, shadowy look, whereas this one is more of a costumey version of the black one. So this is the cross boots in pearl gray. I wore again my cross jacket from the same collection. There is this unexplainable satisfaction when you wear pieces from the same collection because it creates a very strong coherent outfit in seconds. So as an example, this jacket is perfect with the boots. Like you can see, the color story and the imagery, the sharp tailoring, the sharp shapes of the jacket perfectly coincide with the asymmetry of the boots. I love building outfits starting from the shoes. I always believe that styling from the ground up is the way to go if you're kind of lost. Shoes are always like the main focus and the four of my outfits. Now, this is the black version, and oh my god, you can really tell the difference that the black version is more, it has more punch, it has more appeal, and I'm so sorry, Gray, but I think I have to choose black this time. It just makes me look so, so runway ready, like the pieces speak together harmoniously and it makes sense. The asymmetric jacket with its peak shoulder coincides with the the asymmetry and the shape of the shoes. There are some pieces that really resonates with the color black. And also with the black cross boots, it creates that silhouette, the shadowy silhouette that I really love. Kind of my secret when I build an outfit is to pick elements from the shoes. You could tell that the black is so much better than the gray one, right? So another wedge from the Rick Owens collection are these Brancusi wedge. I tend to gravitate on the brown one more because it looks, what? An arthropod of a dinosaur, an accordion, and you can see how it aged and how insane the design is. This one is a mix of leather and suede. So I started the outfit using the shoes again and um, I just took in the browns and the beige and I look like a nomadic priestess with this whole ensemble. The brown brancusi has that touch of primitiveness to it. It's very distinct and you can really see the difference and the, um, the details of the boots. There are times that you just want to wear boss level black outfits and 
this would be it. I've always believed that Brutalist shoes work well with Brutalist pieces. And as an example, I'm wearing my Brutalist Brancusi boots with my similarly Brutalist outfit. And inside, I'm wearing my Anthem leather jacket with my leather pants just to create that seamless pants and boot interaction. The black one seems to be more grotesque and aggressive in the way. But again, this is a very specific, very avant-garde type of design. The design speaks for itself, irregardless of the color. So it's a really tough call to choose between the brown and the black. I don't mind earth tones because earth tones are really natural colors that you can see every day. As far as color goes, earth tones are so easy on the eyes. The common belief why people use black or choose black is that it goes with everything. Not to be on the side of colors, but does it always have to go with everything? What if colors alone are motivation enough to enjoy a fashion piece? The next one is my cantilevered boots from the Sisyphus collection, spring summer 2018. So happy that I got this. This is an old collection. It's like a sock with a piece of bone. <gasps> This is the dark dust colorway and this is the optic white or milk colorway. It was so hard building this outfit because I don't have many light grays and whites. We got there in the end. So now I'm wearing a mixture of three different colors. The pearl gray and then there's like milk and whites. And I love that the drapey details of the boots meshes with the, the drapiness of my top and the skirt. It's very white and light. So this dark dust colorway is more interesting. It has a three-dimensional almost because of the, the different colors and the different fabrics. What can I say? It's a work of art. It hurts my feet. It's not the best structure because it's square toe, but it's very tapered and long. But you know what? If I'm gonna hurt my feet, if I'm gonna be miserable, why not be miserable with a nice pair of shoes. I wish you guys can see how it looks like in real time, in real person, because there's something about wearing dark dust boots and dark dust clothing and seeing them together interact, it's just priceless. When avant-garde pieces are dipped in colors, I think the impact becomes three times more interesting. In some way, the mix of uncanny object and colors, they together create a superfluous appeal. It is one thing to understand a strange design like this, but to have our eyes visually stimulated with the color story is another thing. That's why when I saw these boots, it was a no-brainer that I have to get this. I thought it wasn't anything that would fit my colors and my wardrobe, but the more I think about it, the more combinations I can imagine. Combined with gray, it's like a greenery in a big desert, but together with rich greens and browns, it's like a forest. And since we're on the topic of duality in terms of color, I'm just so excited to show you these two pieces. This is from the Fogachine collection in the color Sulfate. And this is the Spartan Kiss Boots. Oh my god. This is my birthday gift. First time to, to try this on, first time to wear this. It's so different, right? There's no point of comparing them, but they're both Kiss Boots. But which one is the best one in terms of telling a story? I love the sulfate because the sulfate is like, like it's a color of chemical and it's just so different. It's like a mustard, yellow, brown. It's just so weird and it looks like a toy truck. Yeah, it's like Glamazon bit from space. And for the finale for this episode, I'm gonna go full on. Like this is my fullest colorful fit. As far as the colors in the Rick Owens universe goes, I think this is workable. Like the soft and subtle greens and bronze is kind of working with the, the thorough colorway and the yellow sulfate boots. I think my color craze is because of this Kiss boots. Never in a million years would I imagine of getting a pair in this colorway, but I just did. If I'm gonna go crazy with fit, crazy with structure, might as well go crazy with the color just once. And the black is more grotesque and brutalist and futuristic. This is from the Gethsemane collection and the Gethsemane collection was a, a futuristic story about strong women who landed in earth 
And because the shoes in itself is very warrior-like, I was hoping to achieve that in my outfit as well. To give justice to the shoes, I wore my mini shroud jacket and of course my loin skirt. This is how I would wear the gladiator kiss boots. The sulfate kiss boots is a great way to shake things up. But for me, the black one will always have a special place in my closet. It's just good to compare and contrast colors of the same pieces. I do love colors, but in saying so, black will always be an important color in my wardrobe. I hope you got something from this episode. This has been so much fun, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Show some love, drop some comments, and I'll see you on my next video.